inspired by artist Evol, who uses old recycled cardboard boxes and draws doors, windows and balconies on there to make them look like old buildings. Um, we are going to develop our piece of card in that style. I want you to look first of all at the resources that were provided and choose a door or a window that you might want to use. You might have a particular worksheet that you've printed off or you might have the image on your phone. Look carefully, think about the style, the shape, the position. Do you want shutters? What, how many glass panes do you want on your window? Think about where you're going to position it. You need to make sure that the drawing isn't too big because you're going to need to put on these features and then build up your graffiti rower inspired animal around those features. So think about where you're going to put them first. Look carefully at the image you are drawing from and freehand you can start to sketch the basic shapes, the borders, the frames, the window sills, all of those bits and pieces ready to go over and refine in pen. Once you're happy with the positioning and the, and the drawing, you might want to use your ruler to get more precise edges. With this being a man-made architectural structure, it may work to your advantage. You may prefer to not use one, that's entirely up to you. But it does help you define edges and maybe put in any extra ridge details that you need to do, um, making sure that spacings are even. Start to think about where shadows might be, where ridges might be with these different details that you're applying. Look carefully how many lines, how many sections are there to that particular bit of window. You can make changes, refine your drawing, make alterations as you go along. It's quite important at this stage that you try and get the accuracy of the window um, or door as, as detailed as you can. You can see here I've speeded up the drawing a little so that you can see how I build up the different tones and the internal details inside the glass windows and how I start to build the tones around the edges of the frames, under the different ridges and on the window sills to try and give the depth and the 3D form to the window that I'm drawing. You can use a Tipex pen, paint marker pen, white pencil crayon or a white gel pen just to bring little highlights into your drawing it really makes the image stand out and pop not everybody will have these but if you do then they will be an advantage i then decided that i wanted to put a second feature on here i wanted a door because the the image that i'm going to place on there i want to be in between the door and the window i'm building up the tones but because these are darker areas i've played around with layering pen pencil crayon and marker pen to get different effects. You can use whichever one you want. Again, I've brought the highlights in with the gel pen and I'm starting to apply colour using pencil crayons. This way I can just create little areas of contrast and realism, starting to blend my crayons as I go along to get the effect I need.